And uh, joining us right now is New York State Senator Greg Ball, Republican from the 40th uh, District in New York. And uh, Senator, thanks for coming on. <laughs> Good to be here. How are you? I, I got to tell you, th he, this man deserved everything he got and more. And when you said you're so used to having bobblehead dolls here to punch around and and your british accent and this and that it was i mean I, I, it could have been in the movie theater and i could have been just eating popcorn and just watch it over and over and over and over you know i um i was very active i don't know if you know on the, on the second amendment issue we just went through in new york state where the the our governor has gutted our our second amendment rights and it was uh you know pierce who guest after guest after guest would just gut everybody who had somewhat of a conservative uh, a bend, and I, I knew what I was getting into. And not only that, when I showed up, not only was it CNN, not only was it, it Pierce, but then uh, who did they sit next to me but Alan Dershowitz. So I said, okay, here we go. Well, Somebody... we, Alan's a friend of ours here, but it seemed like Alan kind of kept out of it, uh, and, and, and it was a smart move to do so. So this all started with, with, with a tweet that, that you made that, that we just uh, that, that showed for those of, us, uh, those of you out there watching on, on Newsmax.com now, uh, and uh, it, you saw it, but I'll read it. It, it said, what did it say exactly? Uh, that uh, what red, so he, these, these scumbags killed three Americans. What red-blooded American wouldn't want to uh, torture them to get more information no, I, to save American lives, yeah, right? I, yeah, I basically, I basically said that, you know, Scumbag number two, uh, now in custody. If it would save innocent American lives, you know who would who would not use torture? And in back to Alan Dershowitz, even he talks about the um, you know the ticking the, the ticking bomb right uh, scenario. Like right. if he knew where the next attack was going to be, uh, right. then would you, uh, certainly certainly you'd want to you do anything you can to save American lives. Right. The, the whole premise, Senator, behind uh, this this gun law move is because if it's we keep hearing from 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 Biden, if it saves one it saves American one life. life, we have to do it all. Right. Right. Ex exactly. And, and and that's what I said. It's amazing to the, the, the controversy that has been uh, created at, out of the, the statement, because if you look at it, and how many people, if, if we knew that if we could prevent Boston, and I, and I forced this to Pierce, or if we could prevent 9-11, where you had men and women literally jumping over 1,000 feet uh, to, to certain death to avoid being burned to death, if, if somebody could avoid that, if you could avoid that, to what extent would you go? And I would hope that my elected officials would do everything within their power to save those innocent American lives. No, you're, you're absolutely right and I, I had someone on I don't even remember who it was who wrote a piece and he was talking about how we have to be America and, uh, and I said what if what if there was a school uh, 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 we knew that we had a terrorist in custody and we knew that uh, there was going to be an attack at a school uh, or two schools and we knew this guy knew where and he could stop it what shouldn't we stick his head underwater blow smoke in his face have dogs bark at him keep him sleep deprived whatever it takes well that's that's only in the movies I said sir that has happened we prevented attacks with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed's head on the water right and you know people have to i think i hope that people because of, of recent events uh realize that this just isn't isn't in the movies anymore this is a reality that israel has dealt with for some time i think now over a decade after 9 11 some have been lulled into into a, a sense of, of complacency but it, it is very real to say and we're not talking about low level uh folks either in the military intelligence service we're talking about having the flexibility at the highest level uh to in order to protect those innocent American lives if we are in a position uh, where it's, it's necessary that we use the enhanced interrogation uh, techniques. And people, you know, we do live in a country where there are certain people who feel that if, if you do leave the lights on at night, if you do play loud music, that that's torture because we've gone so far to, to the extreme. Right. And these terrorists play by a different set of rules. In the war against terror, information matters. They know how to manipulate our rules against us, and they are playing by a different set of rules. And that is not going to be effective when you're taking on either scumbags of the like that, that, that committed Boston or those who seek to do much, much more damage to the United States. No, you're, a, you're absolutely right. And, and you know, it's, it's gotten to the point where that whole unit – uh, the the CIA enhanced interrogation unit is, is has been totally disbanded, so uh, it's it's really left us in a in a big hole. Uh, would you go back on Pierce Morgan show? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'll, uh, first it was fun. Uh, I'll say that um, to to be able to to, in my opinion, show him a taste of of his own medicine. But I would go back on on any of these shows, and it, it the <laughs> some of these people are taken back because I think most politicians being so absolutely full of crap, anytime they experience a little bit of heat, 
cheap uh, fold like a cheap suit and, and pull back on the on their comments, and I haven't done that. And uh, would be too politically correct to ever make those comments, even if they felt them in the first place. Yeah, God forbid you said what you thought. You know, you may not get reelected. Well, what's that the would, reaction be been? Horrible. I'm sorry. What's the reaction been uh, in your district among your constituents, uh, uh, for, among those who have weighed in? You know, I think that. Um, the reaction in my district is different than than what you're seeing online. I mean, online in the Twitter universe is is blowing up, and it's pretty rabid in uh, in, in I guess on on both directions. But there's a lot of heat and, and negativity. I when I'm back in the district and going around, it it certainly seems to be uh, much more positive. But I will say this. I mean, I don't think that uh, as far as a re-election strategy, sometimes it makes sense uh, to be to be outspoken. But as I watch what's happening to America, and when you watch what happened in, in Boston, and certainly what happened on, on 9-11, it really is time for people of common sense of both political parties or of no party to stand up and to begin engaging the conversation. Because if this is the new normal, what, what, what has been said, the yeah. Boston's yeah, the new Governor normal. Yeah, Governor Cuomo uh, with, with those brilliant words that and global warming right uh, we better have a very serious conversation I, about how to keep this country safe i'm telling you, you got, uh, senator thank you so much and uh proud to have had you on thank you you got it god bless take care you, you too good work thank you yeah. new york state senator greg ball uh